I seven. How are you today? Oh. Are you able to listen? Hello. Oh, are you able to listen? Yes. Ah, okay. Thank you very much. How are you today? Everything okay? Doing great? Everything great, teacher. What about okay. you? Okay. Oh, How's your day? Doing good. Thank you very much. Uh, kind of working, trying to finish the uh, my lesson with the students. Okay, we're about to finish. And the students are about to go um, on ex on final exams. Okay, so nice to see you. It's very welcome. I, you know, I even though the weekend I I was expecting this class. So please do not miss classes. Help me with your cameras. Okay, it's important to have cameras on, and don't miss classes, please. I need, uh, this is a joke. I need to continue working. <laughs> Please do not miss, ca don't, don't quit, okay? Do your tasks, keep on going. Let me tell you that many of you that are, we have keep and uh, talking, your English is really good. So let me help you to help increase your English. And uh, I think you're on the right path. And the ones that I haven't talked to that much, please uh, tell me something, talk to me. It's really important that I see, okay? Good? Right? Okay, guys, I guess I got, um, let me think, uh, let me. Uh, okay. What is, uh, this is section four. Okay, this is uh, section four. And uh, what is section four or unit four? What is section four? What a story. What a story, yeah, thank you very much. Thank you, yes, what a story. Where do you listen to stories? Where do we listen to stories? Uh huh. Is here. Do you know media is? Do you know media is? Uh-huh, talk to me. Okay, we're going to, what a story, we're going to, uh, the, the, like the topics is the media, news stories, ex ex sectional events. Okay, so today is Monday, October 29th. So who follows news? Who watches news? David, do you watch news? <clears throat> I watch them, but uh, on Facebook. On Facebook. Ah, on Facebook. But you watch the book. Uh, and Facebook is a media, yes. And Rebecca? Rebecca Paola Granados? Do you watch news? Aha. Uh -huh. Daniela Mercedes? I don't like it news. Ah, uh, you know. Why don't, mm -hmm. why don't you like news? Uh, because um, the, um, all of them are so, um, for me, like a creepy, I don't know how can I say that, creepy, amarillista, Ah, they are not real. They are the ex exaggerated. Yes, and mm -hmm. sometimes they they 
if fo the photo the photos the are photos. so hairy are oh. so hairy yes. and for that reason i don't like it yeah they are not as strong as uh uh they shouldn't be as, as strong good thank you daniela and good english keep going okay don't give up and uh what about you saul what do you think about do you watch uh watch news Yes, I do. Uh -huh. And where do you watch news? I watch in the TV. And TV, okay. Yeah. Oh, good. And then, then sometimes for myself. Ah, okay. What about you, Isabel? Thank you, Saul. Isabel, what about you? Do you watch I... I watch uh, news in TikTok, no in TV. Uh, ah. But uh, I watch uh, news for the another country. Ah, okay. So uh, for my country, I don't like. You don't like the news for your country. <laughs> okay, good, excellent. Well, I guess everyone uh, get. Um, how do you get your news? Okay, uh, here the question is how. I'm sorry, I'm missing the W. Uh, okay. Um, Francisco, what about you? How do you get uh, your news? Uh, I like uh, watch or follow the news in the Twitter, the X Twitter, the, the uh -huh. today's X application X. Yeah, I like this. Um, uh, I watch TV too, um, YouTube. Oh, okay, good. So you use different medias to um to follow the news. And we're yeah. going to uh, uh let's see what else do I have. Um uh Cristina, uh, uh Nubia Cristina Morales, how do you follow your news? How do you get your news uh if you watch news or you follow news? Nubia Cristina? Okay, uh, what news do you find interesting? Anyone can answer the questions or, or answer in the chat. What news do you find interesting? Yes, Francisco? Oh, in this moment, I, I, I find interesting is the war in the May, in Israel and Palestine. Uh, uh, Middle East, in Middle East. Okay. Middle oh, East, correct. Yeah. yeah, well. And yeah. the water. I'm sorry? Ala too, because the the country this is uh, is affected in for the commercial. Yeah. Yes, uh, yes. There is a there is a like a domino uh, effect. Okay. Exactly. One, uh huh. One uh, so the word is uh, is over there, but it affects us because of of, of many th reasons. Um, Carlos Alberto, what news do you find interesting? The news interesting mm -hmm. for me is a sport teacher. Ah. Why do you think, uh, do you find export interesting? Uh -huh, Carlos? Excuse me, repeat the, the question. Teacher. Why do you find, why do you find uh, exports interesting? It's because. because you, interesting uh -huh. for me. Okay, uh, I I like I like a lot, uh, and I practice too. Ah, I see why. That's a good reason. Thank you very much and good English. Don't give up. Continue. Okay, so um, uh, how important is it to keep up to date, updated? 
how important it is to, to keep up updated with the things that are happening uh, around the world. Anyone can answer, or you can answer, please answer in, in what's in, uh, on the chat. Ah, okay. Ah, uh, sports. Ah, okay, Rebecca. But welcome. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your responsibility. Yes, Rebecca. Okay. Uh huh. Why do you? Uh, why is important to keep updated? Uh, mm -hmm. any reason updated with news. Do you have any ideas? And for me, uh, have a topic uh, of conversation ah. for another person. Okay, good reason. Thank you. Thank you. Another reason? Uh, uh, to have a topic uh, to talk to other people. Yeah. Hello. Uh -huh. I think it's, it's important to be informed about the uh, uh things are happening in the in in the world <laughs> yes yes it's important like um who said about talking to other people uh who said talking to other people i well like uh our classmate uh said over there talking to other people because we are humans and we are, and we need to have a topic to talk to other people. So you get, uh, you gather with other people. If they talk about sports and you don't know about, for him, for example, a sport, it will be like this. If they talk about politics, uh, then you will be like this. If they talk about any topic, so you need to be included on it, okay? So, well, politic, uh, there are three things that American people do not talk. They don't talk about religious, they don't talk about politics, and they don't talk about how much money you make. Three things that American and Canadian, I have lived there, they don't talk about it. They don't care. But you need to know how uh, uh, to get important because we're human beings and we are, uh, uh, we need to share with people. Okay, good. And uh, this is a snapshot vocabulary. Remember, medias are e e everything from we can watch the, the sports, the news, any news or contact, newspaper, radios, uh, Facebook, uh, Twitter. Those are medias, okay? Uh, television, okay? So, and editorials. This is in the document that I sent you. Do you get the document? Do you have the document? Ah, okay. So what is an edit editorials? What is editorial? The special? Uh-huh. Please someone, a ver, uh, a ver, Carlos Alberto, could you read the definition of editorial? Editorial, a special column with opinions about important events. Uh, is, exactly. is reading or, or, or the document? I don't uh, have document. I don't uh, have. <laughs> well, editorials are a column. It says a special column. Uh, newspapers in El Salvador have editorials, uh, you know, all the, and I, may, I shouldn't, maybe I shouldn't mention them, but there are some people who write about certain topics, like political topics, economical topics, so, social topics. Um, those are editorials, okay? There are some people that write uh, about it, uh, or they write an important event. That's the thing. And the other, the, the other, let's see, uh, Rebecca, I ah, know Rebecca is, is right now, is, she's busy. Okay. Uh, Nubia Cristina, are you there? 
help me reading the uh, definition of classify as. Marco Antonio? Marco, are you there? Okay, Natalie, Rebecca, could you help me over there? Classic ads, list mm -hmm. of things or sell or rent. Yeah, the list of things or sell or rent, like like rent a house, uh, buy a car, um, find a job. Those those are uh, uh, classified ads when they offer. Um, uh, people are looking for a job and you go to the newspaper or I don't know if it's online, but there are some and those are classified as. And the last one, comics, which is cartoon stories, okay? So this is on the words uh, definitions for the snapshot that we have. Okay, and the snapshot, um, well, these are some of the, of the most popular. Let me see which of the section do you think is more popular? Okay. In the, in the United States, in the United States, uh, these are the top A. Well, maybe it, it has changed it because this book is, okay. Uh, these are the top uh, eight newspaper sections. For example, what is the first one? Anybody can read it. Main, the first one is main news. What's the percentage of people who watch this? 70, 70%. 70%, 70%, 70 it's, it's uh, main. The, the next one is? Sports. Sports, how, ma, how many, what's the percentage of the people who watch this? 43%. Uh, 40, uh -huh, 43 percent and the other is editorials Edit, editorials uh 42 percent you know from editorials you can learn a lot because there are good people who write very good uh, uh columns okay about economic about this about certain topics they might be interested for the people and the other is uh business Business news, business news, which is uh, 95%. And uh, we're going to do this one quickly because uh, uh, I have a lot of exercises that we can work on it. Classify as. What is classify as? We just saw a definition. And it's an austin or sale or friend. Uh, exactly. We remember that you had a definition in your document as well. And I classify as 30% and comics. They are not that. that comics, uh, 30, uh -huh. 30, 30, uh, 36%. Okay. Movie and TV listeners. 33%. 33%. Okay. Food and cooking. Okay. So, which section of the newspaper do you think is the most? is more popular in El Salvador or the most popular? It's a main news, sports, editorials, uh, business, classified ad, comics, movies, or food? I think uh, sports. <laughs> uh, why do you, why David? Uh, because I've, I've seen, well, um, I was working in, in, um, in a place uh -huh. And the workers used to uh, buy the newspaper only for sports. <laughs> ah, because of the sports. So you're a big fan of the sports. And yes, it might be sports. Uh, yes, uh, in order not to... Uh, yeah, it might be sports uh, the most popular in El Salvador. Um, because because of... they want to know everything about their, their favorite teams and when they are uh, going to play a match... Yes, uh, there you have it. As a, teacher, as a, I, yes? I, I think I think for politic. Ah, okay, Carlos. Okay, why do you think politics are politics are uh, 
popular nowadays. And you're right, because, but there is a reason. What would be the reason, Carlos? Uh, uh, editorials. Mm -hmm. Okay, the, uh, the political reasons that you say, Carlos, and maybe the, because it's the, the an election coming, because that's why, why it's over there, right? So, but uh, like um, a sports, so it is, I think I totally agree that which is a sports. Well, now, now I haven't read uh, newspapers, but editorials, uh, I found, I find editorials very helpful because many editorials, you know, the person has to be good at writing. You say good at writing. So the person has to be good at writing. It has to be, does help you to increase vocabulary, to increase your knowledge about certain topics. Okay, good. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. So I think the uh, most important is the food and cook, cooking ah, in El Salvador. Also, yes. Everybody. Uh, almost. You, uh, mm hmm Almost, uh, I think the it's many many places around places here. Mm -hmm. They have a, a little the a little restaurant or yes, place. and uh, good. Yeah, you're right, and you know why. And good and good. Thank you very much. Uh, good in good English. Keep going. Don't give up. And uh, because tourism nowadays is the most is giving a lot of money to to El Salvador. I say um, that's a growing enterprise. If I can talk it like that, if I can name it like that. So it's a growing work over there. And tourism, uh, people. That's why you're studying English, guys. Right? Yeah. Right. Because you want to be bilingual. <laughs> Good, excellent. So, um, well, uh, we already discussed this once, but uh, let me see. Uh, and you already say which sections are the most entertaining for you. What about women? Isabel, Isaura, what about you? What do you think about it? Which ones are the most entertaining for you? Sports. Uh -huh. Ah, sports. Because also. I like basketball, and my favorite player is Curry. <laughs> oh my God! So you play basketball and sports. So you're a fan of sports as well, and you. Practice it yourself. That's good. Um, Isaura, what about you? What, what do you think about it? Thank you, Isaura. In my case, I think the, the main news and the weather. <laughs> ah, the weather, okay. Yeah. So, it's important okay. for me to know the house that ah. is. <laughs> ah okay good okay so but it, it it doesn't have anything to do how do you feel right <laughs> yes <laughs> ah, really <laughs> okay good thank you very much we cannot stop too much on this one okay so and uh, you already said okay let me see i have some great okay guys so what a story in the newspapers, Facebook, or any media, we can find many stories, okay? Some stories are uh, uh, shocking. I mean, they are very strong. Some stories are, uh, they, there are different stories over there. So let's listen to the stories. Oh, what is the, what is the learning objective of the stories? Uh, let me ask. Uh, uh, Daniela Mercedes, could you please help us with the learning objective? Sure. Mm -hmm. Listen to news stories. See the past continuous and simple past tenses in context. 
Oh, okay, good. So these stories are showing us the past continue and the simple past in context. Okay, so let's listen. What type of stories are there? So there in your material, there are some uh, uh, A, B, C, D, if I'm not mistaken, and you have to write only a word. What type of stories are they? Let's listen. Are you able to listen? I'm just checking. Am I sharing sound? Yes, teacher, I can listen. Oh, yes, 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 yes. It's, it says over there, yes. Thank you. Unit four. What a story. Page 22. Exercise two. Perspectives. A surprise ending. Part A. Listen to the TV news stories. What type of stories are they? An attempted robbery took place at Eastern Bank today. A man was trying to rob the bank, but he wasn't very lucky. While he was escaping from the bank, the robber got caught in the revolving door. The police arrived and took the man to jail. And what is this story about? Anyone can answer. Oh, man. It's about the robber. Trying to rob the bank. Yes, it's about a robber who tried to uh, rob the bank. And uh, what happened to him? The police. Um, the police arrived and took, him. and took the man to jail and arrested yeah. him. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Francisco. Thank you. Okay. Let's listen to the what? Oh, no. It was a strange soccer match last night. The Bears won the game, but the Lions scored the goal. As Jake Walters was running toward the ball, he tripped and accidentally kicked it into the wrong goal. The score was Bears 1, Lions 0. An embarrassing incident happened at the transportation conference this morning. The Secretary of Transportation was making a speech when a protester threw an egg at her. The protester was arrested, and the secretary finished her speech. An electrical problem at PAX Arena interrupted a Planets concert last night. The Planets were performing a new song when the lights went out. But the show went on. The Planets continued to play in the dark, and the lights came back on an hour later. Okay, what kind of stories are there? Are they? No, are there? Are they? What kind of stories are they? Uh, the first one is about a robbery, and it's the second about one is about, it's about a match. Okay, a soccer match. Someone else? Number three and number four? A robbery and a, ma and a soccer match. What about number three and uh, number four? Remember that any opinion, any answer is okay, because the objective is to talk. Uh huh. Let's see. I got some comments. A specific sport for the. Uh, okay, thank you. Uh, it's about a complaining. Uh, uh, it scores. Uh, uh, the, uh, uh, much something like this. Okay. Good. Excellent. Uh, great, great, great idea, great topic. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Eda. Thank you for letting me know. No problem. You're here. That's important. Okay. 
So the stories guys are uh, about user over there. One is a one is a local, it's a main story about the rover. The other is, is uh, this, about sports. The other is a main story, and the last one is an art. Okay, so but here, what's happened in each story? Number one, you already said. The rover got stuck in a revolving door. What is a revolving door? What is a revolving door? The door is the, the, uh, the function. Your function is in a revolving, how do you say? Um, uh, what is the use in the banks? Use yes, it. yes. Yeah, thank you. This one. Yeah, you know what I'm, uh, what I'm smiling about it or, uh, I, or or laughing about it? You know, I live in San Francisco, California for a couple of years. And the first time that I saw one of those doors, I got stuck in the door. The door got me. Uh, I mean, I went right straight, the other man who was with me, and I got stuck in the store because the, the door goes like that, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Okay, that's that's the thing. Okay, there you have in your document, what about can you write? So the topic idea of the first story is that the rover got stuck in a revolving door. You got like three minutes. What are the other stories about? Like three minutes, please take notes. And the guys, it will help me if you use, uh, you have your uh, camera on, please. That will be help me if you uh, see that you are working. I'm begging you, please help me with your cameras. Okay, I can see that Isabra, your camera is about. Uh, could you down? Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you, Eda. Thank you very much for it. You're turning on, Isabel. Thank you. Please, guys, don't You're be welcome. afraid. Don't be afraid to turn on the cameras. Okay. Uh, write the. Uh, what are the other stories about? I said that I was going to give you three minutes, but you had the three minutes still. I'm sorry that I'm drinking water for my my sorto. I got a sorto. My throat hurts a little bit. Okay, who can help me? Rebecca, Marco, Re ah, no, Rebecca, you know. Rebecca Paola, Marco, Claudia Maria. Raul Antonio, what will be the, any of you guys, raise your hand, and what will be the second story about? Uh, yes, Francisco? Uh, and the second story is the day true X at the hinge. No, 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 excuse, is the day, they scored them out the goal. Ah. Match. Ah, okay. It's about a soccer match. Uh huh. It's about a soccer, soccer match. match. As a very strange soccer match. Or oh. it's because it's, the, it's strange because the the other team uh uh on the goal. Say. Wow. Ah, okay. 
Good, thank you, Francisco. Thank you very much. Good, a good answer. Aha, uh -huh. and what about number three? Someone else? Raise your hand, please. Aha, uh -huh. look over there. What is number uh, story number three about it? The protester girl and mm -hmm. secretary finish her speech, maybe. Yes, a speech and throw an egg, right? <laughs> yeah, a speech, remember that is a talking. Good, thank you very much. And the last one? Uh huh. What would be the last story? Number four about it. Electrical problem. Mm -hmm. Okay. There was a planet concert, right? There was a planet concert, and there was an electrical electrical storm, so interrupted uh, the 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 concert. Yes. I, I am advising you to write your ideas, okay? Write your ideas over there. What is the second story about? With your own words. You can answer, remember. You can say the same thing, even though if you use um, other words that have the same connotation as, as, the, as the story over there. So please, I, I advise you to write. That's a way that you will help uh, increase your, your talking. Okay, we have some vocabulary over there and uh, about the story. One is attentive. And what is attentive? Try, but unsuccessful. Unsuccessful, okay. Try to do something against someone, but I was not successful, okay. Try to do something against against someone, but not to be successful. And got caught in. Uh huh. What is it? Was was trapped, trapped in something. In something. Trapped in something. Yes, he was got in um in the revolving door. I can. Um, for example, I can say I got caught in my car. You know, maybe the door closed and I couldn't open, so I got caught in my car. I got caught in an elevator. The elevator uh, did uh, started to move, but suddenly stopped, and I couldn't open the door. So I got caught in, okay, in an elevator, in the car, in a revolving door or inside something, in other words. Um, another is, it's revolving door. <laughs> sorry, involving, <laughs> revolving door. Sorry, uh, write the, the R over there. Uh-huh. A door, what is it? A door that, a door that around. turns around. A door that turns around, like, it happened to me in San Francisco. I got caught over there and it hurts because it's electrical. <laughs> okay, most of them. And trip it. What is trip it? What is trip? Lost his balance uh, when his foot hit mm -hmm. something. Yes. Hit something. And, and, fell, <clears throat> and fell down. Yes, that's trip. Trip or trip it. Okay. Uh, 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 fell down. Okay, I, I lost my balance. Incident. An event. An event, right. Protester. A protester. A person showing his person angry showing about a political is angry situation. About a political yes. situation. Yes. Uh, please try to learn. And uh, oh, lights came back on. The electricity returned. Yes, 
electric is on. You know when the the lights go out or, or go out and during the night, it's called blackout, okay? <laughs> the city is in the dark, so that's called blackout also. So the this is a very important vocabulary that you have it over there. It might be very helpful. Okay, guys. Um, past continuous and simple past. This is not a difficult topic, but uh, all all topics it requires practice. Page twenty three, exercise three, grammar focus. Past continuous versus simple past. Use the past continuous for an ongoing action in the past. Use the simple past for an event that interrupts that action. While he was escaping from the bank, the robber got caught in the revolving door. As Jake was running toward the ball, he tripped and kicked it into the wrong goal. The secretary was making a speech when a protester threw an egg at her. Okay, in this thing, in these examples over there, you can start your sentences by using while, mientras, as, okay? You can start it like that. And look over there what's happening on this one. Oh, let me, let me see. Um, okay, uh, look over there. While, look at the adverbs while and as. While he was escaping from the bank the rover remember the rover that got trapped on the on the revolving door so while he was escaping from the bank we got a comma the rover got caught in the revolving door and look and this two while and as cannot stand alone so they use a comma because the close, uh, the sentence close is the first one. As Jake was running toward the ball, uh, toward the ball, he tripped it and kicked it into the wrong goal. He may, he, he may like we call it an auto goal, but it has a common. When we use when, because uh, when comes after the main clause, what is the main clause? The secretary uh, making was making a speech. It does not have a comma, okay? So the main clause of the, of the first two sentences have a comma, but when it comes after the main clause, which is the secretary was making a speech. In other words, if we use may and when in the middle of the sentence to connect the other idea, because there are two ideas, we do not use a comma. We say the secretary was making a speech when a protester threw an egg at her. Okay. So in this case, uh, what might I say? We have two different ideas. One. Uh, with the past continue, which it was is a sentence, but we need to connect it uh, to join the different ideas and come become uh, uh, be they will become one idea only. Let me see on the other and maybe I, I can explain. So look at one over there. In other words, this is uh, this is what happened over there. For example, let's say that this is uh, this is Jake. What happened to Jake in the first sentence? What is what what's he doing? What playing was soccer. It? Yeah, he was playing soccer. He was playing okay. soccer. So so he was running after the ball. But on the second image, what happened? He tripped. He tripped. He tripped. He 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 started falling down and he kicked and make an auto goal. So, for example, it says, as Jake Walters was running toward the ball, comma, he tripped, he tripped. Okay. So, uh, the first, uh, the first idea was interrupted, interrupted by the simple past. 
It's like me. I was teaching my class. And I, I was teaching my English class when the doorbell rang. I used the, the when. Uh, while I was teaching my English class, comma, the doorbell rang. So what happened? My class was interrupted. Was interrupted. Okay. Um, and this is past continue, an action that was going but then suddenly was interrupted by another action. So even like the ones that I said, I was teaching my English class when the doorbell rang. Or I can say, as I was teaching my English class, comma, the doorbell rang. Different ideas or the same idea with two sent with the two sentences. Different or the same. Uh huh. Don't be afraid, Jesse. The same. The same idea. It doesn't change the meaning. If I use as I, if I use while as, if I use when, it's the same idea. So simple past. Let me explain it a little bit out. Don't forget that that we use the when we use the past continuous, we use the past tense of to be. Okay? So we say past tense of being was. When do I use uh, with what such as I use was? We use was for the subject, I, he, she, it. As the car was running on the highway, it stopped. I mean, it, it broke down. So you see, as the car was running on the highway, comma, it stopped it. I mean, or it broke down and it stopped, okay? So we use and we use where when it's plural. We say, what is the sentence? While the students, what is the sentence? We're playing we're basketball. Playing, playing basketball, basketball, it started it's, it's to start. rain. Uh -huh. The verb, the past tense of be. When do we use uh, where? With the plurals. You, we, they. Oh, by the way, you, it can be singular or it can be plural. Okay? So notice the thing. Also, uh, uh, the past continuous, it was an action that was going, was happening. But suddenly, it was interrupted by the simple past by the simple past, okay? I can give you many examples as this. Like I say, I was teaching as, while I was teaching my class, the doorbell rang, okay? Um, while as I was teaching my class, hope not, it's just an example, um, the internet went off. Many things. Comprende, or do you have any questions, please? Do you have any questions? Okay, remember that I, I must uh, require. Okay, guys, I send you these exercises on the documents over there. If you notice, uh, I just quoted the, the, the exercise, but I put charts on it, okay, little charts. We just have like 10 minutes exactly because I came at uh, 9.02, okay? I'll take like, Two more minutes from uh, 10 or five, more or less. I will send you on a breakout room for about for about uh, seven minutes. Okay. So please, uh, how many are we? 
How many are we? 18, 17. En grupo de tres, how many breakout rooms? Estamos 17. How many breakout rooms? Six eh, groups. Six groups, or three, right? Yeah, only one before. Okay. Okay, I will send you uh, six minutes only, only. Please discuss, turn on your camera, see your classmates, okay? Only six minutes and we'll check the answers tomorrow. But uh, we have to come back to the main uh, room to say goodbye. I will make, uh, okay, uh, six. Asignar, crear, options. Uh, seven minutes, okay, and um, good. Abri, oops, ah, oh. sorry, go back. I think I made a mistake over here. Let me let me start from the beginning. <laughs> At the beginning. Okay. Asignar. You take the attempt. <laughs> no, 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 no. And then never mind the breakup rooms, okay? So I start working over there. I will take the attempt. Thank you very much. Uh, I will take the attempt, okay? Never mind the break a room. Start working on then uh, writing your uh, doing the ex exercises, please. Let me close and open again. Uh, Carlos Alberto. Present. Yes. Claudia Maria Garcia. Present, teacher. Daniela Mercedes Méndez. Present. David Alonso Mejía. Present. Eda uh, Lisbeth Pineda. Present, teacher. Eh, Francisco Alexander Villafuerte. Present, teacher. Uh, please continue working on the exercises, okay? Uh, Glendy Elisset uh, Flores. Present. Thank you. Isabel Elizabeth Torres. Present teacher. Isaura Evelia Present Vázquez. teacher. Present. Yeah. Luis Fernando Linares. Present. Yeah. Marco Antonio Quijano. Marco Antonio. Marco Antonio Quijano. Eh, Natalie Rebeca Peña. Present teacher. Nubia Cristina Morales. Nubia. I saw you there. Raúl Antonio Pérez. Present, teacher. Rebeca Yoneli Hernández. 
a Rebeca Paola Granados. Rebeca Paola. Eh, Renato Salvador Ramírez. Presente, Chef. Eh, Ruth Marielo Zamaya de Guardado. Presente, Chef. Thank you. Saúl Alexander Lozano. Presente, Chef. Eh, Silvia Tatiana Costa Hernández. Silvia Tatiana Costa. Okay, um, we do not have time to go to over there, but uh, to the breakout room, but we still have some, some. Let me share with you. Okay, so remember that we are using uh, we are using uh, past continue and the simple past. So what will be the first exercise over there? Wild divers. What will be the correct form of the verb in parentheses? Work. Work. Uh -huh. But the verb is work. But it says wild divers. We're working. We're working. 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 We're, uh -huh. exactly. we're working. We're working. So while the drivers were working, I think I have the answer. Yes, we're working off the coast of Florida. They discovered. They discovered. Uh, right. Okay. So that, oops, no, my God. I don't, okay. I don't want to go to the old answers over there, so I'll stay here. Mm -hmm. Okay. It says, uh, uh, while the diapers were working, they discovered, okay? And what is the next one? Let's do this one together and then you do the other uh, alone. Uh, a ship rate. A ship rate means when there was a, an accident with a boat or a, or, a, or a ship, but a big ship. Okay. A ship rate containing gold worth two millions. The divers. Film. We're filming. Film. Film. The, the film. Film. Yeah, the we're divers filming. were filming a show about the coral reef. Went. They found they, it. They found. They found, found it. it. Okay. Remember that a a, a ship rate is a boat that sink that had an accident and went down the bottle. That is a ship rate. Okay, continue working with the other ones. So let me open uh, the document that, uh, that I send you and show it to you. Okay, this is the document that I sent you. I just uh, had copied the exercises over there, but uh, there is the vocabulary, there are some questions. You can, you can, if you have time, you can practice answering the questions yourself in a written form that help you a uh, uh, lot. And by the way, I'm sure everyone's English here is good, but I need to talk to some of you not to give you 10 or to give you zero. It's just the vocabulary that we're studying, 
the stories that were happening over there that the robber got trapped in a revolving door. That was the first one. Complete the, the other ones. And this is the grammar form. And this is the exercises that I send you, but it has this. So it means that you can write on it. So diverse where, uh, where uh, working. Um, I put it like this, but uh, you can make it bigger. Okay, working and so on. So you can work on it. Let me see. In fact, you can make it bigger. You see? I misspelled the word. <laughs> I misspelled the word. That's called misspelled. So the divers were working. They and so on. I did that because I'm not very good at typing. So, and there are other exercises that this has, I got it from, from other sources that you can write it like here. You know, uh, you can use as or when or while to join the sentence. I was crossing the road. As I was crossing the road, a car nearly hit me, the second one. I was using my computer. What will be the second part of I was using my computer? I was using my computer. You suddenly stopped working. Suddenly stopped working. Suddenly so, stopped working. Yes. What will be the sentence? While I was using my computer, comma, suddenly stopped working. It just joined the sentences over there. And this is another exercise that I got it from, a, from the workbook, from a different source, okay? So for you to work, to practice over there. Uh, please try to do it. And we'll, uh, tomorrow we'll just check this one and uh, very quickly and continue with another topic that I'm preparing. Any question, guys? Any doubts? Do you have any preguntas, any doubts? Okay, thank you very much. Don't miss class. Please work on a platform. Do your assignments over there. Okay, I know you can do it. Okay, if uh, you can watch the video over here, except that one on Friday it was kind of weird, um, but uh, you can watch the videos over there. Okay, bye-bye, sleep tight. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Good night. You're welcome. See you Everyone. tomorrow. Bye-bye.